cuts, applesauce, spaghetti sauce, a lot of sauces, and yogurt all have in common nutritionally. If you stay right here, I'll give you the answer before this live ends. In fact, I'm going to give you a lot of clues along the way. So I would love to see if you figure it out as we go. I wanted to jump on here and talk with you guys about blood sugar. It is such a huge part of our body's functioning that we have a lot of control over based upon simply the foods that we choose to put into our body. There's big impacts or ramifications, depending upon what your dietary choices are, in how your blood sugar stays stable or is unstable with your overall health. So what I'm saying is that unstable blood sugar and high blood sugar is an underlying factor of a lot of additional illnesses that take quite some time to manifest. So one way to eliminate or reduce, depending upon how committed you are, to various different illnesses like diabetes, fatty liver, those bad cholesterol panels have a connection to blood sugar, and hormone issues. And there are so many hormone issues out there. We're not talking just reproductive hormones. So hormone issues across the board all of those have an underlying connection to blood sugar imbalances. So if you can keep your blood sugar stable on your own, you're going to feel better day in and day out. Now, I'm sure we're all pretty familiar with the spikes. Eat a candy bar, you get that sugar rush and that huge boost of energy, and then it plummets and you're dead exhausted again. So not only when you keep your blood sugar stable, do you not have to deal with that <laughs> on a daily basis, but you also have the added benefit of health over a duration of time. So simple investments of what we do now makes a big difference in what our health is going to be like 15, 20 years down the road. It is that instant gratification versus the delayed gratification and everything in balance or moderation, right? So I'm not going to tell you to not eat sugar. In fact, I'm here to give you one tip, one easy tip of something that you can eliminate from the food you purchase. And it can be that simple to keep your blood sugar in check and on track. So that ingredient is high fructose corn syrup. And thus <laughs> is the connection between all of those foods. High fructose corn syrup is strangely added to so many foods for flavor. And it has a not great benefit on our health because it spikes our insulin or our blood sugar. So it gets put in all of the foods I mentioned at the beginning, applesauce, spaghetti sauce, also ketchup, crackers, breads, cereals, even some peanut butter. So I used to think that I ate really, really healthy back in my 20s when I was sick a lot with bronchitis. I ate my chicken, I ate my vegetables, I ate a lot of dairy. I thought I was doing all of the right things. The spaghetti sauce. I would purchase packed full of high fructose corn syrup. So many things in my pantry had high fructose corn syrup in it. And I had no idea because I simply wasn't looking at the ingredients on the jar or the bottle. Now, I know that can kind of be tedious when you get started to go through the grocery store, store and as you shop for all of the items to turn the container and look at the actual ingredients. But if you don't, you will never know if it has a real source of sugar or a, you know, high fructose corn syrup type of source of sugar in the product. And I, I'm not here to necessarily promote having sugar, but when we buy processed foods such as spaghetti sauce, yogurt, it's just in it. It's part of the deal if we're buying those things. So one way that we can make it healthier for us is making sure that we're buying those naturally uh, created products or the brands that are using 
real ingredients. I like to call them real ingredients. Simply read the ingredients. And once you get a feel for which companies are making their products from wholesome foods, you know, it's a, it's a quick learning curve, really. Like it might be a couple shopping trips to the regular grocery stores that you go to and you're going to get it down. You'll know which brands you can trust and which brands you can't. So I encourage you to go through your pantry, to go through your fridge, to look at all of the products that you're used to buying and simply on the next grocery trip, upgrade the products that you buy to ensure that there is no high fructose corn syrup in it. Now, what high fructose corn syrup can lead to within the body? We've talked about a few of them. So diabetes, of course, if we're eating too much sugar, especially the, um, I don't know, like super sugars. I'm not even sure what to call it because it's so strong. It's so condensed. Um, it can also lead to fatty liver, which I also mentioned. It's connected to inflammation and inflammation can show up in our bodies in various different ways. It's connected to heart disease and cancer. So a couple of the more uh, profound illnesses that I'm sure we all want to avoid. And aside from that, I'll let you go ahead and trust your own Dr. Google to tell you what else high fructose corn syrup can cause because the list is fairly long. It's just so worth the body's wellness to avoid eating it. So that is your first tip. I'll be back here over the next couple days to give you a couple more tips on how to keep your blood sugar stable. But First of all, super easy tip, go through your pantry, see what products have high fructose corn syrup in them, buy different brands next time, start the conversion to get it out of your household and out of your body. Super worth it, I assure you. And then after you eat, you're not going to feel that tanked, sluggish, horrible feeling 20 minutes later, especially when you're thinking, oh, I'm eating these healthy foods, just some vegetables and some spaghetti sauce. Why, you know, that shouldn't have any sugar in it, but it does. So I believe that our body is a huge part of our overall wellness and our relationship with ourselves. And so in this focus of creating the very best relationship that we can have with ourselves to then have a better relationship with other people, we have created the group Stronger Together, Strengthening Your Intimate Relationships here on Facebook. If you find this information valuable, if you're learning something about yourself and you want to know even more beyond just the physical, because our bodies are also influenced by our emotions and by our thoughts and by our spiritual aspect of our bodies as well. We talk about all of the holistic things in Stronger Together. So jump over into that Facebook group and check out some really cool material from Sammy Joe, who practices shamanism, crystal healing, and earth medicine. It's mind-blowing and amazing. And you'll find more mindset work from me as well in all of the past videos. So get in there and check out your um, the events and the past videos. Sorry, I was reading a comment and my brain totally glitched out. Shannon, thanks for your question. So. I don't have a favorite healthy brand of spaghetti sauce, unfortunately. Um, it's an like it's an off brand. I don't know what to say. So as I'm stumbling, most of the things that I will say is back when I eliminated this from my kitchen, which was um, eh, probably a decade ago, there's been so many more brands and producers get on board. Even ketchup, for instance, Heinz ketchup never used to have an option for um, not having the high fruct fructose corn syrup in it. It's in my pantry right now. It's simply, it's labeled simply, it's their simply line. So they have even upgraded. So what you're going to find today versus what I kind of got used to many years ago. Um, but I typically shop the off brand because I find better luck with them, although name brands are coming along for the ride on this health quest for people. Um, so just check, just check and see. And also, you know, there's like 
garlic or, and I'm not a garlic fan. So it also depends on what your favorite flavor. I really like mushrooms in my spaghetti sauce and I do a lot of marinara. So not every brand offers the same um, flavor options either. Just find what works for you. Oh, Sherry, do you have one? I love it. Rayos. Cool. Thanks for dropping that in there. I really appreciate it. So yeah, you can check that out. I also know, um, you know, in having grown up in a town of 400 people in rural Nebraska, rural areas, and sometimes you're just lucky to have a grocery store and you're just lucky to be able to purchase whatever you need to make the meal for the day as well. So I get that there are some limitations around what is really readily available for people and that sometimes you have to really be mindful and shop ahead when you do get to those larger stores and larger communities where more things are available or make your own, which is kind of labor intensive. We did a lot of that in the way I was raised, but it definitely takes time and we don't all have the time that it takes to be self-sustaining in that manner. So. Anyway, um, with that, jump on over to the Stronger Together community. If you'd like to learn more, hear more, join me back here tomorrow. I'll give you another tip on how to keep your blood sugar stable so that you feel as good as you can throughout every single day. Thank you so much for jumping in here this evening and joining me, and I will see you all again really soon.